Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Vijaya Biology Tutorials. Today we are going to learn the topic regarding the light reaction and dark reaction of photosynthesis. And before going to the topic, please do subscribe to my channel Vijaya Biology Tutorials. Yeah, okay. So up to now we have covered different topics of the lesson nutrition and regarding each topic we have completed around 4 to 5 worksheet. And this is the other worksheet which is related to the photosynthetic reactions. And regarding this photosynthetic reactions, I have done already a video. If you want clearly to know about that particular topic, you can go and watch the video. Okay, so now if you want to learn the worksheet completely, don't skip the video in the middle and watch till the last and subscribe to my channel. Yeah, let's go to the topic here. Some some of the questions are given in the blanks and from sixth question they are given like one mark question and answers and last two question and answers are given like four mark question and answers. Now let us discuss each question with answer. So the first one is dash gets activated by light energy. Here already we know that the photosynthesis requires the four important things. What are that four important factors for the photosynthesis means carbon dioxide, chlorophyll, sunlight and water but here who plays a very important role means chlorophyll plays a very important role so here what is what is the question means dash gets activated by light energy the chlorophyll gets activated by the light energy why because the chlorophyll is having the capacity of trapping the sunlight that's why it's very important chlorophyll gets activated by light energy and this light energy gets converted to the chemical energy which is helpful in the synthesis of the glucose so the answer is chlorophyll next going to the second question splitting of water molecule in presence of the light reaction is called as the answer is photolysis of water here what are they saying means we know that one of the factor for the photosynthesis is water but after chlorophyll trapping the light energy how this will be uh, happening means there will be immediate reaction that is the water molecule the formula of water molecule is h2o so here the water molecule gets splitted into h plus and oh minus ions means the water molecule breaks up into h plus and oh minus and here that process of breaking up of the water molecule or splitting of the of water molecule is called as photolysis means nothing but photo means in presence of the light the water molecule splits up lysis means breaking as there is breaking of the water molecule in the presence of the light the answer is called as photolysis of water so here the answer is photolysis of water and going to the third blank dash discovered the photolysis reaction so here who discovered the photolysis reaction means hill discovered the photolysis reaction in the photosynthesis if you observe two reactions are there most importantly the first one is the light reaction and the second one is the dark reaction the light reaction was also introduced by hill only robert hill has discovered the light reaction and he also has discovered the photolysis reaction so here photolysis reaction occurs in the light reaction of photosynthesis so the answer is hill next going to the fourth question what is the full form of atp the full form of ATP is adenosine triphosphate. What is the full form of ATP? Adenosine triphosphate. Okay. Next going to the say, fifth question. The formula of glucose. So already in the previous worksheets also I have written the equation for the photosynthesis. While writing the equation for the photosynthesis I have written the end products of the photosynthesis. And the end products of the photosynthesis are glucose, water molecule and oxygen. In that glucose the formula for glucose is C6H12 and O6. C6H12O6 is the formula for glucose. Going to the next question. What are called the assimilatory powers? ATP and NADPH of the light reaction are called as assimilatory powers that are used in the dark reaction. Here at the end of the light reaction, ATP and NADPH are formed as the end products. And these end products of the light reaction are used in the dark reaction for production of the glucose. Means they will be uh, reacting with the carbon dioxide and finally they produce the glucose molecule. So the assimilatory powers are ATP and NADPH are called as the assimilatory powers. Next going to the next question. What is the other name for dark reaction? The other name for dark reaction is biosynthetic 
phase here the other name for light reaction is photochemical phase why because in the presence of the light compulsory the reaction takes place only in the presence of the light and that light energy will be converted into chemical energy and it will be helpful in the formation of the end products that is atp and nadph so there the answer is for light reaction the other name is photochemical reaction while for dark reaction biosynthetic phase means here there will be synthesis of the biomolecules that is glucose will be synthesized that's why the name is called as biosynthetic phase going to the next question name the primary product of photosynthesis in dark phase so here if you observe the energy from atp and nadph is used to fix the carbon dioxide and to produce the glucose so already we said that the end products of the light reaction are used up in the dark reaction so atp and nadph will produce the energy and they help in the fixing of the carbon dioxide and finally they produce the glucose so here the primary product itself is the glucose but here the carbon dioxide is used for the here the energy from the atp and nadph are used to fix the carbon dioxide that help in the production of the glucose why because primarily carbon is the main important part of the glucose next going to the next question write differences between the light reaction and dark reaction so here you have to write in the form of a table let us observe the differences the first one is the light reaction it is called as photochemical phase and dark reaction if you observe it is called as biosynthetic phase already i said regarding this one next second the point is it's a light dependent reaction so light reaction means compulsory it has to depend upon the light second one is it is a light independent reaction means it does not depend upon the light it doesn't mean that it takes place in the night time dark reaction means it is completely independent of the light and if light is not present also if light is not present also it can complete the reaction the next third point is photolysis of water can be observed already i said that splitting of the water molecule photo means light lysis means breaking so the water molecule splits in the presence of the light that can be observed in the light reaction here as the light completely it's absent here the photolysis of water cannot be observed this is the third point now let's move on to the next point yeah this is the next point light reaction it is the first stage of photosynthesis and if you observe the dark reaction it is the second stage of photosynthesis next going to the fifth point of the light reaction atp and nadph are the end products here in the light reaction what are the end products atp and nadph are the end products and if you go to the fifth point of the dark reaction the energy released by atp and nadph are used to produce the glucose means here they will be fixing the carbon dioxide first of all and next that fixing of the carbon dioxide will be useful in the production of the glucose so these are the five points regarding the differences between the light reaction and dark reaction next going to the next question imagine and write a few sentences about the consequences of plants not performing photosynthesis so if plants do not perform photosynthesis what will happen that is the question here we have to write it by our own so now let us see the points each one first point is the plants will die in a few days if photosynthesis do not occur due to lack of food here completely the pan, plants will be died why because if the photosynthesis do not occur from where they will get the food as the food is not available obviously the plants will die the next point is the members of the food chain will die due to lack of food because plants are the producers of the food chain so here food chain we know food chain is nothing but it is a passage of the energy from one level to the next level in the food chain food chain generally we have producers consumers and finally we have the decomposers will be there so here producers we know that the plants are the only producers on our earth so here the plants are the producers so if producers itself are not there what happens to the next level organisms so and then herbivores will be there the next level the next carnivores will be there and next finally omnivores will be there so each at each trophic level will be affected by the producers okay so if producers are not synthesizing the food material then the remaining members of the food chain will be affected why because if plants itself die but where do the herbivores get the food if herbivores itself die where do carnivores get their food so like that each is interdependent that's why if plants are not there completely there will be collapsing of the food chain 
Next point is all the living organisms will also suffer because there will be no exchange of gases. We know that the plants will take the carbon dioxide and finally they give the oxygen during the process of the photosynthesis. So if this happens, if the photosynthesis is not occurring, then automatically what happens? Oxygen gets decreased in the environment and carbon dioxide levels increases in the environment. And survival becomes very hard for all the living organisms. So these are the consequences that happens if the photosynthesis is not occurring in the plants. I think all questions we have discussed and if you are having any doubts regarding to this worksheet, you can just comment me and I will surely answer to your questions. Thank you.